The Guardians reportedly have agreed to a, a contract pending a, a successful physical with Matthew Boyd. And uh, Boyd is a guy that's uh, kind of intriguing. 33 years old, um, left-handed, as you can see, eight seasons with the uh, Tigers. Went 5-5, five and five, 545 ERA, 15 starts last year before he had to be shut down. Um, roughly a year ago today, Tommy John surgery. So he threw for teams in California. His fastball was supposedly lively. Um, a guy, he's made 160 starts since breaking in with the Toronto Blue Jays in 2020. 44 and 67 is his career mark, a 494 ERA in those 160 starts. Um, has pitched as many as 185 and a third innings uh, for the Tigers. And when you look at his numbers, um, statistically, it's kind of interesting. So there, there was a couple of years, a 389 ERA uh, back in 2021. Um, never, wasn't playing with a great team. So the one loss percentage is, is kind of what it is. But he has had pretty good years and was a guy that was trending upward before that arm injury. There isn't a guy that, you know, you can go out and trade for. So I, I kind of like the move if if everything works out and the, and they can build him back up. It's it's kind of a, a, a high reward, low risk kind of move. Yeah, I mean, there's there's no risk. It, it's it's a roster spot. Right. And he's going to have to ramp up now after now he's healthy. And now it's a matter of, well, you haven't pitched in a year. And so go have your spring training in July, basically. Um, and it's depth. That's all it is. This team, it's so strange. They're off to this great start. And the one Achilles heel is the one thing that's been the backbone of the organization for more than a decade, the starting rotation. So they need help any way they can get it. And with Boyd, it's, you know, he's not going to be ready for a little while because he has to ramp up and, you don't know, you know, it's the their top priority is to go trade for a starting pitcher, but you don't know how that's going to shake out. Trade deadlines in a month, and you'd love to add somebody. You don't know who you're going to add. You don't know what you're going to have to give up. You don't know how that's going to play out. So here's someone who you can have waiting in the wings, if it makes sense, a month from now or whenever he rounds into form. And regardless of what happens at the trade deadline, you know you have Boyd. And the other thing is, is there's going to be a lot of competition. A couple guys that were supposedly at the top of that list, Jose, uh, Lizardo, Jesus Lizardo, uh, injured list. Patrick Sandoval, injured list. Pushes everybody else kind of up that list. And Yankees are looking for pitching. Orioles are looking for starting pitching. So it, it's not like, oh, go get, go get a really good starting pitcher. Everybody wants one. And the teams that have them, they're going to want – huge hauls prospect wise yeah it's it's a seller's market and there are it, it, it's it's really tricky because with three wild cards in each league now you have teams waiting till the last minute that they possibly can to decide whether they want to buy sell neither both um you know the guardians were in that position last year where they waited until july 29th or 30th or whatever it was to decide to sell and trade Aaron Savali and Josh Bell. And um, so it's a lot of teams do that. And it makes it so that the prices for these starting pitchers now are exorbitant. And as you get closer to the deadline, they can get a little more realistic, but at the same time, you also have more of a bidding war because everyone's feeling the heat. You get desperate. So it's, it is tricky. And in today's game where, feels like every starting pitcher is one pitch away from an elbow injury um, that can wreck your season. You there, There's not a team out there that is thinking, well, we definitely don't want a starting pitcher. We'll look elsewhere. No, anyone, anyone can use the help, even if your rotation is great.